live from the Chow Racing Stadium. It's time for Chow Racing 2014. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Jennings and with me is my great announcer, David Crosby. Welcome to week 7th action here on Chow Racing 2014. We got quite an excitement waiting for you as the Chow are all warmed up and ready to go. So let's turn down to the field and let the races begin. Alright, we're kicking off week 7 with these four superstars. They are Zach Orison, the Bobby made of Bobby K, our defending champion Jason Hill, and Justin Garmini. We're gonna start off our week as always on the power course. This will be for races 1 through 4 of the week. So good luck to all four of you, everyone that's on the clock, and please start the race. Alright, they have to push the ball to the outside, and the first person to make it to the finish line will win. It looks like these two are having a great time, but who's gonna win this one? We're about to find out. Four Chow are closing in on each other at the current moment. And our defending champion, Jason Hill, wins the first race of the night. He has one point towards qualifying. The bombing meter came in second. And Zach Allison came in third. Jason Hill is our first winner of the night. Trying to defend his title for the second consecutive season. If he does, it will be the first time we have had back to back titles by back to back champions. Alright, moving on to race number two of the night. It'll feature Dallas Damasco Garano, Will Inkson, Derek to play, and Ryan Shafthold. Take a look at the lineup for this race as we send him down to the power course. We wish these four child good luck on the race as well. Good luck to all four of you, everyone that's on the clock, and please start the race. Okay, who's gonna win this time? The four child closing in, except number six, which is going to mess. So these three child are closing in on each other at the current moment. Derek the player who seems like he has the lead. Followed by number four and number three. And it looks like Derek the player is gonna win it. Now it's gonna be followed by Will Winston and Dallas the Master Gavano. So Derek the player earns one point towards qualifying for the 2014 World Championship. And it's back over to you, Brandon. Alright, Dave, what a way to start off this is the week. We got more excitement coming up, so don't go away. We're just getting started. Okay, the next one in our lineup features Kenny Days, Howard Miller, Nick Gimmick, and OJ Upton. Look at the size of the big Howard Miller as we head back to the power course. I think he has a fantastic shot of winning it all. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race. And there we go! Pushing his ball with all his might. He is running away from the competition, and he wins this one. He earns one point towards qualifying towards the 2015 Child Racing World Championship in February. Who's gonna finish second? It's Henny Nays, followed by Nick Gimmick and OJ Upton. So Howard Miller with an easy victory over the three. Howard is the strongest chow this season and he is loving it. Let's see what the next one has in store for you as we feature the license to drive Alvin Heaton. Gray Parker, Cody Gisboro, and Norman Finan, the 2010 Chow Racing World Champion. And this will be the last race out on the power course this week. Thank you ever so much for attending today's races here on Chow Racing. Everyone is on the clock and please start the race. So, the license to drive Alvin Heater is at number 3. Greg Parker is at number 4. Cody Gizmo is at number 5. And Norman Finer is at number 6. Ray Parker looks like he has the lead at the current moment. And it looks like he's gonna win this one. He has one point towards qualifying. 
That's gonna be followed by Tony Gizmo and Norman Finder. And it's back over to you, Brandon. Alright, Dave. We're all coming back for more fun and games, but first, have a look at this sponsor. Alright, Dave, please give us the info for our next race. Okay, Brandon, the next one will feature Eli Miller, Dave Miller, Ben Henderson, and Nick Simon. So we have two members of the Miller family, or Miller Brothers, as you might know. And this time around, we're going to hold on the Amethyst course, because we made it to around race number five of the night. So good luck to all four of them, and please start the race! Okay, this is the first race on the Amethyst course this week. We're starting off this one with Aaron Miller and Dave Miller on the Miller family, along with Ben Henderson and Nick Saiwan. Looks like Ben Henderson has the lead at this point, followed by the Steel Guns and Aaron Miller and his brother Dave. And what are they doing? Ben Henderson and Aaron Miller are taking the bridges, and it looks like Dave Miller is heading for the water, or a shortcut. We'll find out soon enough. Aaron Miller pauses for a moment and Ben Henderson wins the opening toss for this race. And it looks like Dave Miller did take a shortcut. So he got his one point on the board because he has finished in first place. And his brother Aaron has the next Beavers. Nick Simon is getting left behind in seventh place, ladies and gentlemen. Number one will have the next command on Beavers, and that should be it for this race. And number eight is getting all alone in last place, ladies and gentlemen, with no hope of surviving. Dave Miller of the Miller family earns one point on the board to his qualifying for the 2015 Chat Racing World Championship. And we'll be halfway through the week with race number six, featuring Chris Nelson, Richard Hasselhoff, Antonio Bennett of the Go-Getters, and the Harlem Shake Master, Efron Kingsley. Alright, let's see what happens on this course. I mean, this race of the course. Thank you so much for attending today's races. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race. Okay, they're off and running. Who will gain the upper hand on this race? We'll soon know. Before I show our Closing in on each other at the curve moment. Looks like Efron Kingsley has the lead, followed by Richard Hasselhoff, and Chris Nelson is battling for third place. And Antonio Bennett might need some help from the crowd to get back in this one. And the first superstar to get the speed bus is number eight. And he's back in this one. Number two is going first, so he will be left behind in the crowd. Number one will finish in first place because he took a shortcut. And number two is right back in this one as number eight gets back to back speeders. And down goes number two. That's gonna cause some serious damage. And Efron Kingsley wins. Efron Kingsley gets one point for his card. And we have just enough time for one more speeders. It will be made by Antonio Bennett of the Go Getters. So with second place, it's Efron Kingsley, the Hollering Master, who wins this one. Back to you, Brandon. All right, don't go away. The second half of Chat Racing will return. All right, welcome back to the second half of Week Seven here on Chat Racing. Starting off the second half, we have Garrett Dayton, Alan Holmes, Vince Dayson, and Joe Raftery. We've seen plenty of excitement and action here in the first half. So what's in store for the second half of our show? We're about to find out right now. Good luck to all four of you, and please start the race. Okay, so Garrett Dayton is at number three. Aaron Hall is at number four. Vince Dayton is at number five. And Joe Raftery is at number six. And it looks like Joe Raftery is going to rest. So let's watch these three superstars. Who will gain the upper hand here? Looks like someone's heading for the water. Oh, a shortcut. It's Garrett Dayton, the Gundam Style Dancer. He took a shortcut, alright. Joe Raftery will get the opening toss. 
and he moves up a couple of places as Garrett Dayton, the guy that found the answer, and the point on the board. Number two will have the next command of the speed bus. The Gundam Style Dancer is doing his dance thing alright. He is the winner of this race. And it was like number seven will wrap up the speed bus for this race, I think. Number two is battling with number eight for G Life, and that's gonna do it for this race. So everyone's doing the Gundam Style today because Garrett Dayton has won this race, ladies and gentlemen. A fine win for Garrett Dayton. And we have one more race in the MFS course. This one will feature Joe Feldman, Kyle Leachman, our favorite policeman, Rusty Williamson, and the almighty and speedy Frank Funantaro. After this, we'll be heading over to the Sapphire course for races 9, 10, and 11. But first, let's see what happens in this race. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the race. Alright. As always, Carl Leachman and Frank Bernatello are running wild out on the aisles. Carl Leachman seems like he's been winning a lot recently. Will he do it again? We'll find out soon enough. Look at Joel Raffery and Rusty Williamson battling for better place. Over the other civil show, it's Joe Fairman who got the opening toss. He's retaining third place at the current moment. Kyle Leachman has the lead here. And Frank Fernandaro is in second place. And oh, look at this, Rusty Williamson flying over the edge with speed bus. But our big winner is Kyle Leachman. Kyle Leachman has once again bet Frank Fernandaro with authority. And Joel Feldman got another speed bus. Rusty Morrison will come in third place. And Joel Feldman will wrap up the race with fourth place. Guy Leachman! Done it again! Right, Brandon? Right, you are, Dave. And we'll be right back with the Sapphire Course faces. Do not go away! Okay, race number nine on the night will feature Chris Schneider, Steve Wingman, Iris Fabius Warrior. Joey Ackerson and Max Lack Sandersburg. And this time for races 9, 10, and 11, we're going to be playing on the Sapphire course. So good luck to all four of these superstars. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race. And it looks like Max Lack Sandersburg is going to rest. And so is Steve Wingman. That'll give Chris Schneider and Joey Ackerson the opening edge. Will it pay off? We'll find out soon enough. And the first superstar to get the bus is number eight. And he's back in this one, and down he goes. Number two and Max Lack Sandersburg are battling for dear life. As number two will have the next command of speed bus. And number eight has the lead over the pack. Number eight, trying to defend his position with with the others. And Chris Schneider takes the next Beavers. He's battling with Steve Wingman and Joey Atkinson for the best position so far. And it looks like Max Lex Sanisberg takes the next Beavers. Well, it looks like number eight defending his title, but it's still a pretty good battle. The player with the best position is going to be... Steam Wingman! I knew he can do it! Steam Wingman with his one. Right back over to you, Brandon. Alright, race number 10 is on your way next. That is coming up right after the break. Alright, time for race number 10 of the night. Featuring the metal fusionist, Chao Pickles, Ricky Nelson, Casey Raymond said. And the Atlantic City favorite, Tyro Folks. Still to come is our main event, which you'll be pretty excited about. Right now, it's time to find out who wins this one. Let's have a chow race! Okay, the off looks like number one and number eight are going to rest. 
Biggie Nelson has the lead at the current moment, and he pauses for a moment, and someone is going to ask. Biggie Nelson has control of the lead in the early run, and down he goes. And the first superstar to get speed bus is number 8. And he moves up to third place. Jaru Pickles is currently in second place behind Ricky Nelson. The sixth Chawa battling for survival. A six way battle for survival. And the metal fusionist Jaru Pickles will get the next command of the speed bus. Number one seems like he's way behind on the competition right now. As the next speed bus belongs to. Number 8, that's his second one for the race. And it looks like number 8's gonna be in the top 3 for this race. And Ricky Nelson is the winner of this one. That's gonna be followed by Jaru Pickles. And number 8. And number 7 wraps up the speed bus. So, Ricky Nelson has done it and it's back over to you, Brandon. What a deal. That's right, what a deal it is. Coming up, we got more exciting chow racing. That's gonna happen right after this. Alright, race number 11 will feature Gary Coles, Raymond Hill, the Jersey Devil John Stevenson, and Alex Cartman. This will be the last race for the Sapphire course before we move on to the main event, which of course will be held on the Emerald course. Good luck to all four of you. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race. Here comes the child, busting down the line. Who's gonna get the upper hand this time? We'll find out soon enough. And down goes the Jersey Devil John Stevenson, and he almost fell off course. Look at the competition right now. Who will cast control of this match? And who's gonna get the opening toss? Down goes Gary Coles. The opening toss will be made by number seven. And he's fighting to stay alive in the game. Looks like number one is getting all alone in last place as he gets the next command of speed bus. Meanwhile, Gary Coles has a big lead right now. Trying to hold on to Jersey Devil John Stevenson for the win. And number eight will have the next command of the speed bus. He's currently in fifth place. Battling for fifth place at the current moment. And the next, we may buy Raymond Hill. And our big winner this time is Gary Cole with one point added to his point. The Jersey Devil John Stevenson will take second place. And number seven will wrap up the speed bus for this race. So I know we're almost time for the main event, right, Brandon? Yep, and that's coming up right after the break, so don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. Alright everyone, it is time for this week's main event. Featuring Alex Marcuson, Eric Crosby, Big Cherry Tommy Days, and Rusty Instant Replay Jackington. And it will be held on the Emerald Course. The winner of this race is expected to be this week's Superstar of the Week for Week 7. So good luck to all four of these players, please start the race. As you know, this race is sponsored by Outback Steakhouse, home of the Bloomin' Onion and many other Aussie teams that help savor the Outback wildlife. And as we can see, we're shaking the trees to start off the race. Who's gonna gain control? It's gonna be Big Cherry, Tommy Nays, who has control. And a couple Silver Chow and Rusty Instant Replay Jackington. That's for sure. Eric Crosby and Alex Marcuson are dancing to the beat. And the first superstar to get the speed bus is number seven. He opens this one up, the main event this week. And he's trying to catch up in a hurry. The next speed bus belongs to number eight as he heads for the water. Rusty into Queen we play Jackington is going to rest. That should get Big Cherry Tommy Day's command of the lead as we head back into number eight. Who's in big trouble right now? Guess who's really in big trouble? It's Eric Crosby. As number seven with his second speed bus of the night. Meanwhile, back up in front, 
busting into me by Jackie Tennis catching up with the crowd. As Eric Crosby gets some help from the crowd. Big Cherry is in the lead with Alex Marcuson right on his tail. Who's gonna get it next? It's busting instant weed by Jackie Ted. That's who got the next speed bus. And he's currently in fourth place. Eric Crosby really needs some help as he gets the next speed bus. Thank goodness for an effort. Alex Marcuson and Tommy Days are battling for the lead. And they're both going to mess. And the next speed bus we may buy. Tommy Days! And he's in a four way battle with Alex Marcuson. And number two. And who will have command? As number one takes the next speed bus, it's Rusty and Sinwee by Jockington. He's expected to win this one. Rusty and Sinwee by Jockington is this week's main event winner. What a deal by Rusty Jockington. And Eric Crosby will wrap up the speed bus for this race. And week 7's action here on Chowmer Sing. Rusty and Sinwee by Jockington has done it. And it's back over to you, Brandon. All right, we're gonna announce the top performers and close this one out right after the break. Did not go away. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time for Chow Racing 2014. This is Brandon Channings. And I'm ready for the top performers of the week. So let's send them over to David Grasby. Good night. Okay, here are your top performers of the week. Congratulations to Rusty Jackington for becoming this week's Superstar of the Week. And also a good job to Kyle Leachman, Vicky Nelson, Howard Miller, and Garrett Dayton. They will each receive bonus points for qualifying for the World Championship in 2015. Have a fantastic week, won't you? Good night!